A stern tone from President Biden in a rare Oval Office address telling any other nation or terrorist group that wants to escalate the fighting and cause further chaos to back down. We're going to make sure other hostile actors in the region know that Israel is stronger than ever and prevent this conflict from spreading. With thousands dead so far in this war, and now we know more than 30 Americans, as well as many missing, the U.S. finds itself in a difficult position. President Biden reiterating solid support for Israel, but also calls to protect innocent Palestinians. Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. Hamas uses Palestinian civilians as human shields, and innocent Palestinian families are suffering greatly because of them. He asked Congress to provide tens of billions of dollars to Israel as part of a much larger $100 billion package that would also bolster Ukraine, Taiwan, and America's southern border. But many Republicans skeptical of Biden's goodwill efforts, including the $100 million he just pledged to help those in Gaza who are lacking fuel, food, and medicine. Now we're supposed to believe that giving them $100 million, our money, our taxpayer money, that that's not going to go to the terrorists? Giving it to the Palestinian leaders, it's not going to go to the terrorists? I mean, please, give me a break. President Biden spent most of the speech, though, trying to connect the threat in Israel to the one Ukraine currently faces, saying it's imperative the U.S. intervene on both fronts in order to protect democracies around the world. In Washington, I'm Scott Thuman.